All right, so uh, the question on the table is, guys, um, what happens when, when it moves away from my wall? Okay, so as an example, uh, let's take this one. I'm gonna switch the location line to uh, core face interior, okay? So um, you won't see anything visibly change, okay? But know in your brain that now the reference line for this wall moved from the outside face to the inside face, okay? So when I change that wall type to a thinner wall, and I'm gonna first show you using a basic wall. Um, so I'm gonna go from eight to five, right? It moves in away from that exterior uh, face. If I switch it back to exterior and I move it to thinner, it moves up toward that control line. So per that detail we were working with, um, up back here, right? Per that detail, if our grid line is along, whoops, if our grid line is along this, right? We want the plaster, or we want the plaster to be on the outside of the grid, and we want the plywood to be on the inside of the grid. So all you need to do is change your exterior walls like these. Um, let me pick a good one. All right, both of these corners here. Pick your exterior walls, make sure they're set to core face exterior, and then change the wall type. So we had uh, exterior wood stud plaster. Oh, I did make two of them. So there. Now what you'll see is, and th this is critical, right? Those two grid lines, they're going to be inside the outer layer. The outer layer extends beyond. So um, let me do a quick um, detail. I don't want you to follow along with this. I just want you to watch. Oh, crap. Uh, I'll go like that. Go to view. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a slab set up, but uh, I'll show you anyway. Of course. Uh, fine. All right, so here's my wall section. And uh, let me change the scale. Go like three inch. Okay. And uh, basically, so there's, there's the plaster on the outside. That's the plywood layer there. This is the stud layer, and that's the gypsum layer. And my uh, slab, if I had it modeled, would actually be right here. Do I have concrete? I don't have concrete, so I'm just going to use a diagonal cross hatch. Okay, so that would be my slab, which if you look back at the detail, looks like that, right? Except for the extension of the plaster down a little bit. Does that make sense? Yes, Kevin. Why is Rick the only one that says yes? Yes. Yes, Kevin. <laughs> yes. 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 Is, is he elected as your spokesperson? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. 